founded as the University at Lewisburg in 1846, Bucknell University is located in the Buffalo Valley region of central Pennsylvania. The Buffalo Valley is perhaps named after Buffalo Creek, which runs 28 and a half miles long and joins the West Branch Susquehanna River at the borough of Lewisburg. In the 1700s, Buffalo Creek was one of eight streams with that name in Pennsylvania. While there really isn't much physical evidence suggesting actual buffalo as inspiration, Natural historians have generally included Western PA when describing the regions once occupied by the buffalo. Now, true buffalo are only native to Africa and Asia, so the term buffalo is most likely just a nickname that was given to the unknown creature by the early explorers and settlers of America. American buffalo are actually bison, and the last known wild bison in Pennsylvania supposedly disappeared by 1780. That is, until 1923 when Dr. William Bartol suggested the bison as a mascot for Bucknell University. About three, four hundred years ago, in this area where Bucknell is now, was one of America's foremost roaming grounds for the American bison, the buffalo. There were herds and herds of them just roaming wild around here and slowly but surely as they were poached and they began to die off like many of the wildlife in America and North America has through the years and now there's lots of bison around here but they're sort of penned and, and farms and there's lots of bison farms and things like that around here now but that's really the reason it was a natural roaming ground for the american bison we live in an area known as the buffalo valley here along the susquehanna river many people who live in lewisburg actually live uh, within the borders of east buffalo township so there's all kinds of references to the buffalo and bison around here where we live so bison is a, a perfect nickname for the bucknell sports teams bucknell's athletic teams sport the colors of orange and blue and while there are for a few origin stories roaming around, there's one that students can still see with their own eyes today. Here in the Susquehanna Valley, we have some really sort of sweeping panoramic vistas, and especially if you're up on the upper part of our campus, you can really just see across the hills and ridges of Pennsylvania. So that gives us some spectacular sunsets, and you can really see it from here. Our, our sky, the evening sky during sunset, really just is washed with orange and blue colors, bright orange. Uh, to go with the blue setting sky and uh, legend has it that that's where the orange and blue colors came from. It was, it was from our beautiful sunsets that we have here. Sunsets like those are the perfect occasion to embrace a loved one. And it just so happens that before Bucknell's official mascot, Bucky the Bison, was flying solo on campus, he had a love interest. It was actually for a while, and I was a student at Bucknell in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I graduated in 93. And for a very short time, there was a Becky Bison. Bucky had a significant other. Becky and Bucky and Becky did have a baby that I believe I, I, I want to say they might have actually hatched it out of an egg which is the silliest thing ever but uh, <laughs> there was a, a baby Bucky at some point but that tradition didn't last too long and, and actually through the years the Becky costume was I guess it was kind of fraying at the seams a little bit and they declined to uh, to keep that tradition going as well so now it's just, just Bucky. Bucky may be a bison bachelor whose look has evolved over the years, but what remains unchanged is the fact that his warm heart is big enough to embrace all of the students at Bucknell. While his lineage traces back to some live bison that the Bucknell staff kept in a pen or on a leash at football games, the tradition today has moved forward to spotlight the one and only cute and cuddly Bucky. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.